So here, Gurney Alec has connected back up with Paul, and here's Johnny, and here's Steelgar. They're looking for the Atreides nukes. And yep. Gurney Alec says, this is where they're they're hiding. In fact, look here, Paul. This is where you can see them. There's the mm-hmm. bon- binoculars, kind of. Kind and then of Gurney Alec is like, right here. And, and they're talking about, oh, it's, it's a good hiding location because it's in plain yeah. sight. Yep. And so here is where the nukes are hidden. And so my question is, is this a good hiding spot? What does it mean to hide in plain sight? And, and yeah, is it a good hiding spot? Um, let's get a few more pictures. Yeah, there this is, is what just... it looks like on Zoom. We can zoom in a little bit. So well, I guess there's like this, like a walkway, I guess maybe. Mm-hmm. And then here's the hole. You get one more zoom. I mean, yeah, that's so the, the entrance in right now. Yeah. Um. So your question was, is it was it good to hide them here in plain sight? Yeah. And if I'm, well, first question is, does House Harkonnen know that House Atreides had nukes? Yeah, every house has nukes. So House Harkonnen, as far as I know, so House Harkonnen should know that House Atreides has nukes. Now, I don't know if Harkonnen would know that Atreides brought them to Arrakis. Mm -hmm. Like they could, in principle, still be on the original planet or maybe split across them. I don't know that. So I guess since the, the Atreides brought the nukes with them, that means they did a full move. They moved from the old so. planet, all they brought everything to this I to Arrakis. So. Yeah. But either way, I think House Harkonnen wants they would be highly motivated to find the nukes. They don't want any loose nukes yeah, floating right. around. So to so what would you do if you're House Harkonnen? You put a team on it. You say, We got we gotta find the nukes. I am not a professional searcher, but I have a team. So I put a team on it, and you're and their job is exclusively to find the location of the nukes. And so, even if you're not worried, if even if you are fully convinced that Paul Atreides is dead, you still yeah. want to add these to your nuclear arsenal. So you want That's to find right. them, right? And you don't want loose nukes around. You don't know what the Fremen could be could do. You don't know. You just want nope. them. Nope. Dirty. Bombs. So then those those searching the people who do the the team that does the search, they look around for particular markers. In particular nice locations you do planet surveys to figure out what are the nice locations to store the nukes and then you sort of rank them based on your best guesses and you just go searching until you find them and you, you keep an open mind so is this i doubt they brought the nukes in through this tiny cave opening so that means they built an op- uh, a loading dock somewhere else <laughs> brought the nukes in with trucks you know boop boop Boop, 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 boop. Yep. Load, load up the loading in. dock. Yeah. And then somehow cleaned up the loading dock and made it look like natural rock face again. But I would look for markers like that. I don't think this is a good hiding spot is what I'm saying. It's too obvious. Mm. A search team would look here. Right. I agree. So so my first thought was this is a nice platform in which you could walk on. Whereas mm-hmm. like if it was over here, like I don't think a human can walk on this. Probably not. Yeah. They're probably not going to hide nukes there. Whereas right. if you have this nice flat terrain, like mm, that's a walkable terrain. Especially mm-hmm. if it, if it, if you see like a bunch of footprints. If you're in one yeah. of these like dragonfly helicopters, you're like, oh, mm-hmm. there's a bunch of footprints there. Like, what's going on with that? But maybe the footprints get washed away from sandstorms. Maybe I mm-hmm. guess. Yeah. But it's still like there's this like this nice ledge yeah. here which you could transport vehicles across. Mm, so it does not feel like a good hiding spot to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and say you do a normal survey, so you're taking a bunch of pictures. Mm-hmm. Right? You don't in the the Dune universe, you don't have AI anymore, so you can't do these these rapid software searches. Okay. You can still put a team on it, and you use your brain and be like, okay, I'm going to prioritize my my guys looking at the pictures, and then send the teams out in a priority to go search. Oh, I yeah, I would f- I would rapidly find this location. I think. I think so. It's not like just oh walking down the street. Oh, is that a cave? I don't think there'll be nukes in there. Do, 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 do. No, I mean, hidden in plain sight is good for people that aren't looking. Like a regular right. person, like one of the, the city people or even the mm-hmm. Fremen that don't know there are nukes, they might walk past it. But right. for the Harkonnens, Harkonnen search team who is explicitly looking for nukes, like you look for this type of stuff. Right, right. And then the loading dock is a big problem. Right. Because why construct- would there be a loading dock on the side of a mountain? Right. The construction equipment to build the chambers. Yup. Right. Paperwork trails for for this. For people got paid. Right. And we know this, that we know that um Duke Leto was super into spreadsheets. Like that's right. He would have kept track. So there's probably details. workers in town who worked they're like, Yeah, there's this random cave. We were just like we They we, had us go there several for like a couple months. Yeah. 
Yeah. So if Har if the House Harkonnen has good uh, people intelligence, human intelligence, they're going to find this very rapidly. I think so. But they never found it. They never found it. Too busy f practicing their parade formations. That's right. Okay, let's go dial those in. Takes a lot of practice. <laughs>